Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the Blight and vanquisher of all evil, aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? It does. I know you best as the one who murdered my father. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Orlesians, yet our family lost everything. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you, to lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I know you're a hero. You fought a war and you won, and to the victor go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The house are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha. Ironic, isn't it? You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Hunting, scouting, poisons. Why? What do you care? If you let me go... Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. I could lie, if you prefer. The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens, here in my home. The house served Ferelden for twelve generations. My ancestors served under King Kalanhad. And now it's all lost. So go ahead, and do what you're going to do. All ready? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Uh how? He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. You what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. The Howe is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live.
Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Lieges and vassals are seldom of one mind, Commander. Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthi. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against him or his heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck. And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbreck, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Van Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. It's an honor to have you as our liege. 